Sometimes it's tough in the world of Monopoly. Round two, wave one saw cautious play from many players, keen to earn points by staying in the game, including John Broomfield, the champion from the United Kingdom. My name is John Broomfield. I'm from the centre of London, the United Kingdom, and uh, I'm delighted to be able to say that I'm the United Kingdom representative for the World Monopoly Championship here in Las Vegas. Special moves are matters which I think I need to keep to myself in terms of not letting the competition know how I'm thinking. John, who had lost his first game, managed to take points in his second, but it was Takahiro Ishii from Japan who took pole position with some skillful play and negotiating. Another table that went to points saw a group of winners from round one go head to head. Danius Grecius from Lithuania, Jan Zoda from the Czech Republic, Antonio from Spain and Liam from Australia, all reluctant to take risks. By contrast, the second wave in the round saw some of the most exciting tactical play of the tournament so far, particularly between the US, Mexico, Latvia and New Zealand. Jeff Christopher from New Zealand, nicknamed the Nimble Thimble or TNT, whose mantra is, there are no excuses, you should always play like a champion, shone as a clever tactician. He very quickly bought the dark blue property set and continued to buy and trade until he owned most of the board and emerged victorious. Jeff cleverly mortgaged properties, forcing anyone rolling a Mr Monopoly on the speed die to skip forward and land on his blue properties, paying a huge amount of rent. Other successful champions in round two were Switzerland, Russia, Germany, Belgium, Norway, Poland, Croatia and Austria.